creating a score in Micro Studio and displaying it on the screen are two different things, but they're both very easy. Let's look at how to do it. First of all, how do we create a score? Well, it's really going to be a variable and I've just called mine score and I've created it, set it to zero in the init function here, which runs at the start of the program. So hopefully you can see here. Then during the game, at some point, something is going to happen to make us want to increase the score or decrease the score. So my program here is very simple. In the update function, it just says if the space key is pressed, then score plus equals five. Now plus equals just means add five onto score. If we said score equals five, then no matter what happens, the score would always be changed to five, but we don't want that. We want to add five onto it like that. The next step is how do we display that on the screen? And so there's a function, uh, the screen object here has a function called draw text. And uh, if we click on it and click on the little question mark here, we can see a description of it and what we need to put in here. And I've included here a combination of the string with these uh, talking marks around it. So if I, if I put something with talking marks around it, that gets printed on the screen or drawn to the screen exactly as I've written it. So score and then colon and then a space. And then if I put a plus symbol, then that joins some other text onto that as well. And the text I want to join onto that is actually what the score is. So this is going to draw this exactly. And then this score variable is going to be drawn whatever the score happens to be at that time. This is just the position of it, the size of it, uh, the color, etc. I think there should be a comma there. I don't know why it didn't not work. Okay, and as you can see, normally you'd probably put the score in the top right hand corner or something like that. But uh, I've put it in the middle just to make it easier. Anyway, I hope that helps. Good luck making the score in your program. One thing I will finally say is you can have a play around with, if you look at the documentation, which is up here, as an advanced thing later on, uh, you can actually create uh, high scores that are saved between different players. Everyone's trying to, to get a high score, for example. Uh, that's something to look forward to for the future.